In today's video, I'll show you how to load a model. The first thing you need to load are the vertices and then the faces. Begin loading the model by loading in the vertices. Each vertex has its own line and the first one is considered vertex 1. Then when you're ready to load in the faces, which begin with the letter F, you simply connect the dots of the vertices you've already loaded in. For example, we're connecting 1 to 3, 3 to 4, and 4 to 1. Remember, the vertices have X, Y, Z coordinates. As you can see here, we continue to load in the faces, which describe which vertices to connect. And as you load them in, you begin to see the model appear before your eyes. Once you get that working, you can load in the vertex normals. Now the vertex normals usually come after the vertices. And the first vertex normal is considered number one, and it corresponds to the number one vertex that we read in earlier. Now these vertex normals also have three floating point numbers, just like the vertices did. And once we read these in, we can then reflect light off of our model, unlike the wireframe version. What you see here is the wireframe version. And as soon as we load the vertex normals, we can reflect light off of it. If you end up with something like this, then you forgot to turn the lights on. Once you turn the lights on, you'll begin to see the surfaces and how light reflects off of them. And the model will appear something like this. Because the model is plain, we want to add some texture to it and color to give it a more realistic look. Once you have the previous working, you can load in the vertex texture coordinates. Now these texture coordinates only have two floating point values and they correspond to the X and Y percentages of a texture like you see here on the right. And once you read those in, each one corresponds to a vertice, just like the vertex normals do. Then when you read the faces in, you can set the texture, and you'll end up with a model that has textures on it. Using a single texture looks nice only in certain places. We need a way to map in multiple textures, and we do that using a materials file. Usually the materials file will be at the top of the model you're trying to load. Here is a reference called Rapidae. Uh, MTL and inside of the materials file you will find references to materials and also corresponding textures for example this material is called tire and the corresponding texture is called tire a a0.tga now this model has all the materials with their corresponding textures loaded in notice the materials are loaded before the faces notice also the glass material is not transparent there's still one more thing we have to do also, the tire material is set before the faces of the tires are drawn. Now, in order to make the materials transparent and have various colors, when you're reading in the materials file, don't forget to read in the KA, KD, and KS. Now, the KD corresponds to the color, and the fourth value is an alpha value, which corresponds to the, the transparency. After all of these steps, we can view the completed model. Notice how all the materials have correctly loaded and the headlights and the windshield and windows are also transparent. I will also show you the inside of the car here in a moment. I hope you enjoyed this video.